when we get a food item that we want to create packaging for, there are a lot of things that we have to take into consideration. Who is using this end product? What are we actually packaging? Is it a burrito that has a lot of sauce on it and it gets really soggy and it's really heavy, where you know the container would have to have a lot of strength? Is it a grilled cheese where we need to be able to keep the bread crispy for X amount of time, 60 minutes? My name is Sam, uh, Samantha, uh, and I am an industrial designer here at uh, Eco Products. Sometimes people refer to us as product designers, and I think that's probably a more accurate description of what we do. And I would say it's a, it's a really good mix between engineering and aesthetics and usability. The purpose of this meeting is to brainstorm ideas about what sort of packaging we would make. Eco Products is a, uh, a company that uh, manufactures um, compostable uh, food service products that are used in uh, many restaurants, cafeterias, and stadiums across the country. Do you think that standing it up might present a problem depending on what food is in here, the juices leaking out, or the food just falling forward and ruining the presentation? You know, imagine this being more of a dome lid and you're kind of trying to create a window oh, here. Right. Right. Okay. Compostable packaging is packaging that will go through a commercial compost facility. These facilities manage their operations really in large piles of compostable items. And so that's waste food, it's lawn clippings, it's leaves, it's our packaging, a whole variety of stuff. What this does is it creates a heat inside that pile that, that allows our products to break down easily and eventually it'll look a lot like dirt and it's compost at that point. We uh, manufacture our products with three uh, main materials. One is uh, PLA, which is a plastic made from corn. It's typically a clear sort of a container. A lot of times people want to be able to see the food that they're going to eat. So that's the advantage of PLA. The disadvantage is that it has a tendency to melt or to start to decompose at higher temperatures. Another material that we use is the gas, which is a sugarcane fiber that is a waste product from the sugarcane manufacturing process. That uh, typically makes a, uh, a paper plate or a, uh, a clamshell uh, shaped item. The advantages to, to sugarcane is that it's very good at insulating food, so keeping hot food hot and cold food cold. The disadvantages, I would say, are the molding properties. So we face a lot of challenges with when we're molding this pulp, it kind of gets poured over this mesh screen. And so the side walls of the container have to be kind of angled outward a little bit. So sometimes that just doesn't work for what we're doing. The third one is a uh, just regular uh, paperboard, which then we line with that corn plastic PLA that gives uh, the, the water barrier that you would find in a lot of your drinking cups or coffee cups. This PLA coated paperboard had, has restrictions in that it is naturally a flat piece of paper and so it can only be formed into certain shapes. So the advantage we have in creating single-use food service products is that the products that are being used and exposed to heat and moisture don't have enough time to start breaking down. That really only happens when we send it to the composting facilities. Designing packaging is a lot different than designing anything else, really. It's, it's very unique, and especially eco products, because we care so much about what we do and the environment. Every project is different. Uh, you know, you're working with different customers, so every project is really unique, and that kind of keeps things really fresh and exciting. Here you are. Thank you. The kale salad, the chili bowl, and the edamame. Let me know if you have any other questions. All right, thanks.